Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to continue with our lesson. Uh, we are going to be discussing about role of science and technology in development of agriculture. Uh, we know that 50 years ago people are, are, are hunting or have been engaging in hunting and gathering of food. Many, in fact, many years ago, not just 50 years ago, people has been hunting and also gathering of food. But later on, man started to learn how to grow agriculture by his own. He began to turn to farming instead of hunting for most of his food. Later, man learned how to cook food, weave clothes, make for three, and also make tools uh, from stone. These tools from stone uh, are used for cutting, for digging, for shaping and all, uh, all uh, a lot of things are uh, used at that time. Today, man concentrated on development of crop in a modern way. This crop, most of them are for cash crop and also forage crops. Uh, later, we know that there are so many research institutions established by the government in order to develop and, uh, and improve variety of our food. This improved variety of our food are of different color and different quality. Uh, we know that before uh, some of our uh, food products, uh, some of our plants, they are perennial, some of them are seasonal. Uh, we only grow them in a season, but today, with the help of these research institutions, uh, within one season, we may grow a single plant or twice or thrice within a single season. As such, we have various varieties of this kind of crop. Uh, they come with different colors, different shapes, and also it can be grown within a very limited time. Science, the process of handling this science uh, or agricultural product or the process of storing this product as well as uh, processing of this agricultural product reduce much amount of loss through spoilage and inefficient harvesting. We know that vegetables and other perishable goods can be stored under cool condition which will extend the period for which these uh, vegetables will get spoiled as a result of this storage. We also know that science help our, our science and technology help improve animal feeds. Today, uh, science with the help of science, animal feed can provide very healthy healthy food for animals so that to maintain their proper nutrition. Science and technology, met treatment of animal and control of pest. Control of pest to be very easy. Now, science and agricultural mechanization. What is agricultural mechanization? This is uh, what will keep on coming. Uh, but we are going to just review a single definition of agricultural mechanization. Agricultural mechanization is defined as application of automobiles which include machines and engines designed for agricultural production. Example of these machines are tractor, for example, harvester. We have harvester is another example of a <coughs> agricultural machine. We have another kind of harvester. Uh, we have treasure. We have planter. We also have a sprayer. Sprinkler, dryer, incubator, and hatcher. These are examples of uh, machines that are used for agricultural mechanization. With this, we will boldly say science has contributed a lot in the advancement of agriculture or in the advancement of agricultural sector. Advantages of agricultural mechanization. Number one. Is not labor intensive. With the help of agricultural mechanization, one or two people could handle uh, one hectare of land within very shortage of time. But before, without uh, without using agricultural mechanization, without, without using these machines, we all know based on our tradition, a lot of people, a lot of human being has to take uh, cultivating tools like hoes, cutlasses, and all. A lot of them will go and cultivate a single land 
which will take them many days before they finish. But with the help of this uh, mechanization tools, uh, it makes labor very easy and uh, does not require much people to be engaged. Number two, it ensures increase in productivity. Uh, yes, because with the help of this agricultural maker, the, the wastage of food in the process of uh, cultivation and also harvesting uh, preparation, uh, storage, and all the rest has been reduced, and the quality, the, the quantity is keep on is always uh, increasing. This yield much more productivity than without uh, mechanization. Number three. Higher quality return. There is high quality return. It also saves time. It protects against accidents. These are some of the advantages of agricultural mechanization. Now, the factors affecting agricultural mechanization in Nigeria. Number one, attitude of Nigerian farmers. Yes, we know that Nigerian farmers, they have a kind of attitude that they always believe in their traditions. They don't want to employ new invention modern invention unless when uh, our government try to enforce or so unless uh, uh, it take much time of uh, trying to orient them in order to understand the actual benefit of using those uh, modern tools number two characteristics of agricultural machine we know that most of our agricultural uh, most of uh, farmers in nigeria they are illiterate. Most of the literates are in the cities. They live illiterate in village uh, cultivating uh, crops for us. So most of them, they don't know, they don't have knowledge to operate those machines. Some of these machines are very heavy. Some of these machines are sophisticated. It requires a lot of intellect for one to operate them. Number three, lack of monitoring units. Yes, agricultural uh, division of our government has also been sh showing a serious neglect in terms of monitoring and quality control. We all know that political instability, this is one of uh, the major problems of our agricultural development. Most of the uh, government, uh, or most of the political administration, they may come up with so many strategies that are very helpful. They are yielding the product, but uh, uh, the, immediately, uh, the political uh, period changes and new people were elected into office. They will uh, abandon those kind of projects and also uh, make the whole agricultural uh, development to collapse. Number f uh, the five, financial constraint. This is also one of the major problems of our agricultural development because uh, most of our agricultural uh, farm, most of our farmers don't have money they don't have money and agriculture requires use of money in order to uh, make sure all sector all aspect of uh, farming has been carried along within a possible time illiteracy major problem illiteracy most of them no knowledge these are uh, the factors affecting agricultural mechanization in nigeria uh, thank you very much monocropping.